okay hello everyone welcome to my channel okay uh, earlier we saw uh, flash screen of our application okay uh, now uh, okay let's see okay earlier we created our flash screen after flash screen it will bring us to the login screen okay now in this video we will make our login screen and sign up screen okay uh, to create an account for doctor and patients we need to first sign in sorry first sign up uh, sign up okay first we need to register okay then we can uh, go to our respective screen for doctor doctor home page for patient patient home page okay now let's uh, build our uh, from login screen we can go to the sign up screen also okay so let's go to our login screen okay earlier uh, we simply show our uh, login screen text text as you see this is our text which is in the center okay now in this uh, in this space we need to build our login screen okay first of all just uh, just do one thing as usual i created the ui then i will explain you how ui works okay okay as you see uh, this is our login screen we, i just simply add two text field text from field okay and this is an elevation button and this is an text button okay when we click the text button it will bring us to the register screen okay and this is the login screen as you see here uh, this is the text field for the email and this is the text field for the pa password okay
okay password is uh, obsecute yes as you see as you see if we click the any password it will hide okay this is the password okay now it is working fine this is the obsecure text too so uh, we can see we cannot see the password okay what whatever we are typing now this is the elevation button login button and this is the register button now when you click on the login button you need to log in right but before that login we need to work on our register register page okay because first of all you need to register the user after that we can log in okay so to uh, first of all you need to work in the log uh, sign up page okay this is our sign up page that means the registration page okay first of all you need to register the user okay now the registration process is uh, different from the uh, doctor and patient okay uh, suppose uh, you are a doctor for doctor we need to add some extra uh, extra um, entities like qualification uh, doctor have uh, years of experience where doctor has some category category like specialties right uh, also we need one uh, also we also we are going to take the latitude and longitude of the both patient and doctor okay so that we can uh, whenever we can get the direction you can simply click on the direction button it will bring us to the google map location using the latitude and longitude so in this sign up page we are going to take the email uh, we have the email field we have the password field will be one uh, phone number field uh, one uh, first name and last name field one city city will be drop down from where you, a user can select the city name uh, one profile uh, profile picture uh, we can upload the we need to upload one profile picture uh, this is common for the patient and doctor and for doctor uh, qualification category and years of experience will be added more uh, we will see how you can handle that okay in the ui and uh, last but not the least we are going to take the latitude and longitude of the uh, users both for patient and uh, doctors okay now let's uh, do the ui for the sign up page then we will see how what we are uh, then i will tell you what we are added in our ui and then we are uh, go uh, go for the uh, functionality part okay
Sorry, uh, this just slipped me the one thing. Uh, yeah. As you see, this is our registration phase. Okay, so here you can select the user type. Uh, here you can select the patient and doctor. Okay, now it is uh, suppose we select patient. This is the email ID we need to add. There is the password we need to add. We need to add the uh, phone number. We need to add the first name. We need to add the last name. Okay, then we need to select the city. This is for the. Uh, this is for the uh, like. Uh, what am I say? This is for the patient. And from uh, for patient also we need to upload the profiles picture we need to get the current location then we can register okay so this is the simple ui now suppose we want to select this is sense the user type to pay doctor okay whenever you select the doctor as you see here qualification category and years of experience these three fields are included okay for doctor only uh, and if we go to the patient as you see these three fields are gone okay so this is the basic difference from basic difference uh, in between the registration screen of the patient and doctor now let's see the ui if you see, as you see this is our app bar as you see this is our app bar this is our app bar registration page this is our app bar and this is the drop down for the patient and doctor this is the uh, email password phone number first name last name and uh, drop down for the uh, city name okay this is the drop down for the city name and now this is the elevated button to get the profile image okay now first go for the profile image whenever we click on the profile image we need to we need to select the image from our gallery okay we need to select the image from our gallery uh, uh, for that we need to create one function called peak image okay and this uh, peak image uh, method we need to uh, call in our uh, this elevated button our um, upload profile picture elevated button okay pick image mm, this is our just do one thing cut okay pick image this method we need to create simply alt enter create the method here so for peak image uh, it is a future kind of uh, kind of method which will be a void sorry future void peak image and it will be a asynchronous function final we need to create one peak image url uh, suppose pick file fine at the final pick file this is the await function we need to call the picker from the image picker we are gonna pick image and the source will be image source dot gallery okay from gallery we are going to pick our image after uh, pick the image we need to change the state and here in the image file is the x file here in the image file into set our picked file simple from gallery we picked our image this is the picked file that the file that we pick from our gallery using the image picker and in the x file uh, in the x file section we in the x file we simply set our picked file this is the picked image function okay now just control save and let's see this function is working or not upload profile image okay just rerun it okay to check it is working or not sometimes uh, hot reload didn't work just rerun the app to see the effect okay go to the registration page okay sorry uh, we need to do one thing 
in our source main manifest file we need to add up permissions right uh, write external source this permission we read external source okay now let's rerun the application to check whether it is working or not let's go to the registration page let's check what is going on okay let's rerun the application i just uh, cleared a cache memory and i just rerun the application let's see whether it is working or not okay mm, i think it's um, stuck on the cache memory that's why it is showing this kind of error also i added the uh, uh, write external with external functionality also here also i just do one thing i just add the users internet permission also okay also i need to use the find location access find location because i need to access the location also right that's why i added this permission also in our manifest file okay let's see okay it is still building okay okay it is installing let's see whether it is working or not uh, next we are going to add uh, we are going to add the functionality of the get location we need to get the current latitude and longitude of the user after this we are going to process for the registration part where we are going to store the uh, data data of the uh, patient and doctor in our database also okay Okay, flash screen, then login screen, then register screen, register screen, upload profile image. Okay, it is working. See, as you see, this is working. Right. Let's do one thing. Just yeah, there is the image. Okay, this is the image we are getting. Okay. Yeah, that's good. okay that's okay. it is working uh, we can see we can get the picture from our gallery okay uh, now uh, location we need to get the location we need to get the location okay uh, simply create one method for the location uh, get location which is also be a synchronous function uh, final location data equal to await now from the location uh, mm, okay we need to we need to create one location using the location we need to create one variable right final location sorry location location equal to location okay uh, yeah that's it just go for here location dot get location simple in the sense that we need to latitude equal to location location data dot 
latitude longitude equal to location data dot longitude okay simply this is the latitude and longitude null safety we need to add the null safety also this get location we need to call when we click on the get location button yeah this is get location get location okay again we need to rerun the application otherwise it will go on the cache memory let's wait when you click on the uh, click to get location button it will take a few seconds to uh, extract the lo uh, get the location latitude and location using the gps okay it will take some time uh, like few seconds okay then it will display in our text as you see this is in the text it in the text field it will display the current latitude and longitude okay okay it, it takes some time to load the da load the data okay go to the registration page now we need to click to get current location it one i uh, we need to get the permission to get the location okay yeah as you see we get the location we get the current latitude and longitude this is the uh, this is the latitude this is the longitude we get the current latitude and longitude okay okay we added the both functionality we get the picture from the gallery and we get the location now we need to click on the register okay now registration is also a bit tricky because for patient we need to set this data right but for doctors we need to add these data in our database this is common for both patient and doctor this is common for both patient and doctors but this is only for the doctor so we need to segregate the data like this okay in our in our database so let's uh, just copy and paste my register fun functionality and then i will explain you what is going on in the register registration okay in the register function uh, before that we need to add some before that we need to call our uh, firebase database and firebase sort also sorry final firebase firebase sort firebase sort equal to firebase sort dot instance then final firebase uh, reference sorry file database reference database reference it will be like database firebase database dot instant dot ref okay hmm. okay mm, yeah i think that's it okay now uh, now we need to add our registration uh, register function okay just i just do one thing i just uh, copy and paste my register function okay it will save my time also okay sorry
okay i added the storage also okay because it is showing error in here okay storage is gone okay no storage is not gone we need to import it okay okay now storage is gone we need to import a doctor home page we need to import a patient home page also we need to create the method for the error just suggest to copy and paste okay now see okay in the in the register function in the register we need to call in our register button click right this is our register button click okay that's it now in the register if you see we see we first we first validate the form okay if everything is uh, from the form if we get each and every details like email phone number password last name first name everything if i got then uh, it will proceed right from the uh, now uh, we using the firebase email and password register registration method right so for that we need to use the user user credential from the firebase what we uh, use the uh, create Uh, create user with email and password where we need the email id and password because this these things we need to uh, create the create the user credential we need these things email and password okay after getting the email and password we need to we need to check whether it is a doctor or, or it is a patient if it is a doctor then these things will be added extra okay if it is a patient then it is simply if it is a patient for patients and doctor for both it will add it but for doctor uh, in spite of these things these things also add it okay i hope you understand suppose you are a patient for patient these things will be added in our database okay uh, it will uh, added in our database as patients okay now suppose you are a doctor for doctor we will get these things these things all these things will be added in the database but with these also these things also will, will be added in our database okay so this is a simple no hard and fast rule okay now uh, it will set uh, in our database it will set the reference as the user type if the user type is patient database data will be created as patient data data will be stored in our patient database if it is a doctor uh, data will be stored in the doctor database okay now here we check the e image url and it is simply if the Im image url is present it will uh, store in our firebase storage okay as the user id with the profile.jpg name okay this is simple so after that uh, if you are a doctor then you will go to the doctor home page if you are a patient then it will go to the patient ho home page this is the ternary operation okay if the user type is doctor it will go to the doctor if it is not then it will go to the patient home page not section is in the end of the uh, statement okay this is the not if user id is not doctor it will go to the patient home page okay this is simple and this is the error dialog okay if any kind of error is there it will show in this error dialog okay this is the registration page simply now we will just uh, uh, go and test our registration page okay if registration is successful i just do one thing uh, we need to add the is loading function also okay in our page uh, just do one thing uh, post uh, from colon okay right uh, colon should be in the padding just do one thing i just remove the padding also from just do one thing column should be uh, inside padding okay uh, padding suppose 16 okay 1 6 and padding will be inside single scroll view okay now now this from this from will be display if data is is loading if it is loading if it is a loading state if it is a loading state that it will display a circular progress indicator if not then display the form okay i hope you understand if the pay, uh, uh, whenever you click uh, whenever you click on the register button it will it will first uh, for the loading time it will 
कि सो वार से सर्कुलर प्रोग्रेस पर वेन एवर इट इज सबमिटेड इट विल वेन एवर डाटा इज लोडेड इट विल डिसमिस दर्कुलर प्रोग्रेस इंडिकेटर ओके ओके नाउ आई थिंक वी गुड टू गो टू टेस्ट द साइन अप टेस्ट ओके जस्ट क्लोज द एप्लीकेशन एंड रन इट अगेन टू चेक वेट इट इज वर्किंग ऑन नॉट ओके इट इज इंस्टॉलिंग ओके एज यू सी इट इज अ फाइट स्क्रीन राइट Uh, because it is launching so that's why it is uh, taking some time but you can we can uh, we can simply reduce we can simply uh, use the uh, flutter login um, flutter splash screen then we will not see this kind of white page it will directly load the splash screen okay so now go to register and just okay first we uh, register as a patient okay it is selected patient um, suppose email uh, patient first at the gmail.com okay it is a demo okay ओके आई अपलोड द प्रोफाइल पिक्चर ओके सपोज आई अपलोड ए प्रोफाइल पिक्चर आई सिंपली अपलोड ए प्रोफाइल पिक्चर ऑफ सपोज दिस ओके ना गेट द करेंट लोकेशन करेंट लोके लोकेशन इज गॉट ना गेट द रजिस्ट्रेशन ओके एज यू सी रजिस्ट्रेशन दिस इज द लोडर ओके इट इज लोडिंग इफ एवरीथिंग इज गोइंग करेक्टली देन दी लोडर इज स्टॉप एंड इज गोइ द पेशेंट पेज एज यू सी दिस इज गोइंग टू द पेशेंट पेज बिकॉज we are register as a patient right so it is going to the patient page and we uh, if you go to our firebase if you see in our real time database there will be patient patient root database as you see this is the patient root database this is the patient database and here one 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 data is stored one doc one this is document this is a sub document in this sub document This is the value. As you see, 
UID this is the UID this is the UID this is the profile URL phone number longitude latitude last name first name email ID and city okay this sort of patient now just I just do one thing I just uninstall the application okay I just uninstall the application then I will rerun the application okay I will rerun the application now this time I will log in as uh, I, I will register as a doctor okay when you register as a doctor this field will be changed okay this field uh, now here uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 there are 9 uh, key and value is there okay there are 9 uh, attributes there but for doctors it will be different you will see okay you will see on the letter okay just wait okay now select doctor when you select doctor this feature uh, this feature comes up okay now suppose doctor first enter it gmail.com doctor we are from test 4 we need to upload one picture ok uh, uh, this is the picture qualification qualification suppose MBBS ok qualification suppose MBBS and I am a surgeon suppose just general example ok now I have 10 years of experience ok then click the get current location it will get the location now register okay now it will register as a doctor and we will we will uh, navigate to the doctor page according to our code right so let's see it is uh, it is navigate to a doctor page or not as you see it will navigate us to the doctor page okay in the database you will see in the doctor this is the doctor section this is one id is created this is one id is created as you see this is one ID is created and as you see here category qualification total re uh, review years of experience these things are added right average rating these things are added extra things are added right so we successfully we successfully uh, created we successfully register our uh, user whether it is a doctor or patient okay we successfully register our doctor and patient now we need to log in we need to log in our user okay uh, for that go to the login page okay now in the login page what you need to do first of all uh, just go to our sign up screen from that copy these things okay these things will be same copy these things now import this also email and password is will, will be same email and password will be same is loading also same also I need one is navigation this will say the tracking from login sup suppose from flash screen it will redirect us to login screen right now if you are already a login user if you are already a login user every time you don't want to log uh, give your email id and password to login right for so for the flash screen whenever you go to the login screen by default from the code from the flash screen we go to our login screen right go to a login screen but in the login screen you need to navigate the user to a particular page like if you are a patient logged in 
if you are a patient user then you need to directly go to the patient home screen right if you and if you are a doctor then you need to directly go to the doctor page okay so these things we need to uh, these things we need to uh, figure out in here okay suppose now is loading okay this is the from now here from the email from password also password is password okay now from the elevated button there will be login okay for login just do one thing I just copy my login process okay here I need to check if is not navigating then is navigation equal to true ok then navigator dot just copy the navigation code from here copy and then paste it here and then it will navigate to the doctor home page ok patient home page patient home page ok uh, I just do one thing I just simply uninstall the app ok I need to uninstall the app ok this time we are going to login this time we are not going to register this time we are going to login and we are going to login as suppose we are going to login as doctor and for doctor email id is doctor facilitated gmail.com and password is ok we are not storing the password right ok anyway password is the doctor only ok let's see whether it is working or not okay now okay before going to just do one thing uh, scaffold empire 
empire title text login page okay save and reload okay login page now doctor first at the gmail.com password is doctor okay now let's check whether it is working or not okay it is bring us to the doctor base okay it is working fine if you see now we need to check now we need to check if we open the app then it, it should redirect us to the doctor page only okay from splash screen it will redirect to uh, redirect us to the doctor screen let's see whether it is working or not okay it is not working why it is not working let's see okay i just cleared a cache okay uh, because i think in cache it is stuck the stuck because of that i think it is not going to the login screen okay so this is the flash screen i don't think anything error in our flash screen because okay in a init section we check the status okay it is the on the current user okay now uh, if it is if it is null, if the current user is null, then it is go to the login screen. If it is not, then it will check if it is a doctor, then it is go to the doctor screen. If it is patient, it is go to the patient screen. Okay, it is simple, right? Login, doctor, and doctor. Let's see what is going on. as we are already logged in so it's uh, from flash screen it just go to the doctor's doctor page right uh, let's see whether it is working or not okay it is going to the doctor place okay it is going to the doctor place successfully okay uh, let's wrap up this video in here because it is already too long the video is going video is going to too long uh, in the next video we are going to design our login and registration screen okay in the ui wise uh, after that we are going to see the uh, patient home page where we are going to populate the doctors okay we are going to populate the doctors uh, okay that's it for now